hello out there welcome to this tutorial it is directed numbers uh, this is our third lesson on directed numbers and uh, the second lesson on addition and subtraction without using the number line so before we go let us remind us some things positive times positive gives positive so we look at positive m plus positive n we know positive m can be written as just m then positive times positive here is positive so we have it as plus n then again positive times negative is equal to negative such that when you have positive m plus negative n we know m is positive so we have a m positive times negative here gives negative so we have it as minus n then the third one is negative times positive is negative so that positive m minus positive n gives m negative times positive gives negative then n so we have it as m minus n and the last but not the least negative times negative gives positive so that when we have positive m minus negative n we have it as m plus n negative times negative is positive so these are some of the things we wish to remind us we should also be informed that the results are the same for division if we replace all these multiplication signs with division we still have the same result so we take our first problem evaluate the following a positive 8 plus positive 3 b negative 4 plus positive 6 c positive 6 plus negative 5 and d negative 5 plus negative 8 so we start with a we know positive 8 can be written as 8 then positive times positive gives positive so that we now have it as 8 plus 3 and 8 plus 3 is 11 in b negative 4 we see remain negative 4 positive times positive gives positive then 6 and uh, from our previous lesson negative 4 plus 6 can be written as 6 minus 4 and 6 minus 4 is 2 so we have our result negative 4 plus positive 6 to be 2 then we go to C part of the problem for C positive 6 will still be written as 6 positive times negative gives negative then we have our 5 6 minus 5 gives 1 then we go to D negative 5 will still be maintained as negative 5 positive times negative gives negative then we have it as 8 so negative 5 minus 8 we said you should hold this one as negative 5 take this one as negative 8 what we do is to keep the negative sign and add the numbers so 5 plus 8 gives 13 so our answer is going to be negative 13 then that is the end of the solution of problem one we go to problem two in problem two we are to evaluate the following a positive 10 minus positive 4 b positive 6 minus negative 4 c negative 8 minus positive 5 and d negative 12 minus negative 7 so what we do we start from a part of the problem so starting from a we have positive 10 minus positive 4 that's going to give us 10 negative times positive gives negative then 4 10 minus 4 gives 
6 then we go to be this is positive 6 which will still be written as 6 negative times negative gives positive then we have it as 6 plus 4 and 6 plus 4 gives 10 so we are done with a and b so we go to c negative 8 minus positive 5 this is negative 8 we maintain it as negative 8 negative times positive gives negative then we have 5 so negative 8 minus 5 is negative 13. we still remember we take this as negative 8 take this as negative 5 so we keep the common sign which is negative then 8 plus 5 gives 13. so we go to the part of the problem negative 12 minus negative 7 this is negative 12 we still maintain it as negative 12 and the uh, negative times negative gives positive so we have it as plus 7 and now here we are going to have it as 7 minus 12 7 minus 12 meaning we are taking larger number from smaller number so we are going to have our result as negative 5 so negative 12 plus 7 gives negative 5 so we are done with problem 2 so from here we go to problem 3 for problem 3 we start with the a part of the problem for a we have negative 3 plus negative 4 minus negative 6 so here negative 3 positive times negative gives negative so we have it as minus 4 negative times positive gives negative then minus 6 we evaluate the first two which is negative 3 minus 4 and it gives negative 7 then minus 6 negative 7 minus 6 gives negative 13 so we have negative 13 from evaluation of this problem a so we are done with problem a we go to problem b so for 3b this is 8 we maintain it as 8 negative times positive gives negative so we have it as minus 10 positive times negative gives negative then minus 3 8 minus 10 gives minus 2 then minus 3 negative 2 minus 3 gives negative 5 so we have the result of this evaluation as negative 5 so we are done with problem b we go to 3c for 3c the first number there is negative 5 so we still maintain it as negative 5 positive times negative gives negative and positive times negative again gives a negative so we have it as negative 5 minus 3 minus 6 we start with the first two negative 5 minus 3 gives negative 8 then minus 6 negative 8 minus 6 gives negative 14 since they are both negative so we simplify add them together and put the negative sign so we have it as negative 14 then we go to the part of the problem for d we have negative 3 minus negative 8 minus negative 7 since this is negative 3 we still maintain the negative 3 there negative times negative gives positive so we have it as plus 8 negative times negative gives positive again then we have it as plus 7 so negative 3 plus 8 gives 5 then 5 plus 7 gives 12 this is the end of the solution to problem 3 and this is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed the video until we come your way again goodbye